I have a folder full of videos that I want to cover, and unless there's something in particular I want to talk about, I have been known to pick one at random. Today was such a day, and I am really, really sorry. Oh, hi, babes. No! You know what is so deliciously hot to me? Oh, please say spicy food. I don't want an insight into your curly little brain. I'm with a person I like, and there's a little bit of sexual tension. Oh, no! And then they lean over, and they're like, can I kiss you? Ah! So your reaction is to scream in his face. Oh, I mean, I, I don't know what I was expecting, but fucking hell. Mm. <sighs> I don't make that sound. Usually. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, Lacey's attempts at humour always bring a smile to my face because I'm imagining her drowning. Still, it's nice to know she's related to Chatterer from the Hellraiser films. There's the old, uh, the old family resemblance. I fucking hate that intro, but oh look, Lacey put a trigger warning on there. That's good. That, no, that is good. Should have done one for her teeth, but no, that's good. Why is it so sexy? Why don't you tell us? Because they asked for consent if it was okay, which shows one, that they respect me. Or they just didn't want to get embarrassed when they lean in and you go, ew, what are you doing? Too, that they've got some basic sexual communication down. Hot. Communication is hot. Okay, now we know why Lacey Green always keeps her phone on vibrate. But consent isn't just hot, it's also mandatory. Not if you don't wake anyone up. Sexual contact without consent is assault or rape. Lacey, you think about rape so fucking much, I'm starting to think you've got a fetish for it. Here's the thing, people often think of sexual coercion as something that's, you know, violent or physically restraining. Oh no, of course not. Sometimes you just have to add a little something something to their drink. In reality, sexual coercion is often much more subtle. It happens between two people who know and maybe even trust each other. Yeah, all right, Lacey. Rape happens. We get it. I get it. And I don't want to have to force a joke. Oh, hey. The perpetrator will use pressure, manipulation, drugs, alcohol. All right. Well, this is quickly turning into a how to rape someone video, isn't it? Remember to always keep a bottle of vodka, some Rohypnol, and a handful of cable ties on your person. You never know when opportunity will strike. And forced to initiate sexual contact without permission. Oh yes, thank you Lacey, I almost forgot. Make sure you don't get permission, otherwise it doesn't count as a rape and you don't get a stamp on your loyalty card. Worse, in the real world, sexual coercion is often seen as acceptable. Well, the verbal coercion, maybe. Not not the physical force kind. That That is that, that is frowned upon. You know, like pushing someone over and over and over after they've said no. Some people would call that persistence. Or marriage. Or throwing yourself on someone without warning because it's romantic. Well, if you mean getting naked and, and physically jumping at someone, no, no, yeah, I, I can see how there would be very little grace in that action, even for a girl. I mean, she might miss and stick to the wall. You'd have to pull her off like a plunger stuck to the bathroom tiles. No, that shit's not romantic. It's just creepy and salty and rapey. So can people just, can you not, can you not do that? I haven't ever done that, but now I see it upsets you. I feel almost compelled to take off all my clothes and just lunge at people in the street. I'm sure that's a totally normal thing to do a tutorial video on. Are you enjoying yourself? No! No, I wasn't ready for this! How does that feel? Do you like that? No, no, Lacey, no, it's retreated inside! Do you want me to keep going? No, no, I want you to stop! Please! How far do you want to go? All the way home, Lacey! You look uncomfortable, are you okay? No, don't get closer, that makes it worse! Good consent is basically just checking in. Well, that's irrelevant now, Lacey. I don't think I'm capable of sex anymore. You've ruined me. It's paying attention to someone's body language, how they're doing. Well, come on, that's got to get annoying after a while, though. Like, yes, I'm fucking fine. Shut up and get back down there. It's keeping those lines of communication open. Well, as long as their legs are open. So that everyone's on the same page and everyone feels safe and comfortable. So we can't trust people to say when they're not comfortable. We have to constantly ask. That's kind of hard to do with a mouthful. Which means this is not how you ask for consent. Oh, no, 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 not again, Lacey, no. Mm, nope, come on, I thought you liked me. Well, that's, uh, th that's not so bad, actually. Bit whiny, but not so bad. 
I promise you'll like it. Well, what was wrong with that? It was a promise. I mean, you're guaranteed to have a good time if you pinky swear on it. Just do it for me. Oh, come on. The amount of times everyone has heard that. What's the big deal? We've had sex before. Well, that's just a fair fucking question, Lacey. People are allowed to inquire, you know, make sure there's not a problem. Make sure it's not them or their oddly curved cock. I'm so horny right now. Look, don't, don't do the bouncing thing. It is, it is not. Good. You liked it last weekend. Most of these are just asking what the problem is, Lacey. I thought you were all up for that. Douchebag alert! What, because of verbal reasoning? Like people haven't been doing that for fucking eons. I doubt you'd even exist, Lacey, if it weren't for your father saying, Ah, oh, come on, baby, it's my birthday. Also, potential rapist alert. Well, isn't everyone a potential rapist, if you think about it? Fuck, I almost said racist then, but shit, fuck it, I still stand by it. We live in a time when you can be whatever you want to be. Rapists often see sex as something that's owed to them. You seem to know a lot about the mind of a rapist, Lacey. Little subtext there, maybe? Sex is never something that's owed to someone. Ah, but what if you have a receipt? Doesn't matter if you've been flirting, if you hooked up before, if they bought you dinner. Well, that depends on what you ordered, Lacey. As Eliza Schlesinger says, if you order the lobster, you at least owe him a beef. Not even if you're naked! Pushing someone until they finally give in is not consent. Well, it kind of is. In fact, it is. Because they gave in. They said, yeah, okay. That's consent. Reluctant, maybe, but consent nonetheless. I mean, that's actually how it works for a lot of couples, you know? Like, oh, go on then, but be quick. Because you're basically not giving the option to say no. They can say no, Lacey. Some people say no first off so they don't feel or seem like a slut. So there's another attempt and maybe another. It's a process, a ritual, if you will. So how can you know if someone is consenting once you ask? Someone asking for sex has got to be the le Oh fuck, we're back here again. Oh no, now I'm on top because Lacey likes it when my tears fall on her face. Yes, please. Uh, no, thank you. Mm-hmm. Nah, ah. Oh man, that feels so good. Touch my body from your Actually, worthy tip there from Lacey Green's How to Rape. Put on loud music so the neighbours can't hear them crying. Mm-hmm, keep going. I'm down for anything in these areas, but not these areas. What? What was that plural? For down there? What the fuck are you packing? Yeah, right there. Why, yes, I would like that. I would like you to stop now, Lacey. I think I've made myself clear. No means no. Notice how consent is a clear yes. It's enthusiastic. I've, um, uh, I've heard better, to be honest. I want it. It's out loud and there's no doubt in your mind. I'm kind of doubting my sexuality now, though. And remember, consent can always be retracted. Yeah, in like an emergency situation situation like the condom breaks or you're about to choke don't just do it for fun so if you feel like the vibes have kind of changed or you're unsure getting mixed signals you want to check in yeah check in every stroke are you okay yeah are you okay yeah are you okay yeah are you okay mm, yeah sounds fucking sexy there is honestly nothing simpler than fucking why have you dickheads always got to make things more complicated it used to be just put that in there and try not to break it but now there are interviews, forms, workshops, and at the end of it, you might get accused of rape because you forgot to ask the back of her head if she's doing okay. Then you get carted off to prison to share a cell with a big hairy guy named Bubba, who will take your ass to Pound Town on a semi to regular basis, but it's alright because he will check in with you while he does it. Thanks for watching guys, and remember, get around those pesky rape convictions by having her penetrate you.